if you were to advise these people they've just come like 4 5 months back right mm-hmm. how can they also land a part time job or the fastest way to get to the full time job here's the thing और अगर सो यार अगर आप कंप्यूटर साइंस में इंटरेस्टेड हो मैं कुछ स्टूडेंट्स के साथ बैठा हूँ यहाँ पर हु इज द न्यूएस्ट ईयर लाइक फाइव मंथ्स I read in November so 4 months now. Everybody is like fresh except you. Yeah, I'm the oldest guy. Why don't we quickly start with introduction then like we'll go into the topic. Hi, my name is Rahul Das. I have did my bachelor's in computer science. I had 7.8 CGPA. Then I got an admission from the University of Roseburg. The course is like extended reality and the artificial intelligence. Hello, my name is Srinath Kotian. I have done my bachelor's in information technology from the University of Mumbai. I had got a CGPA of 9.19. My IELTS band was 7.5 and then I gave my GRE exam so i had got a score of 300 since i have no work experience i give my gre okay cool hi i'm sohan i'm from goa i've done my bachelor's in jain university bangalore cgpa was 6.2 i had an ielts of 8.0 after that i worked for 4 years and i joined informatic winter semester to around 23 my name is ganesh maudgalia i'm from bengaluru karnataka i did my bachelor's in computer science under vtu grade was 7.1 also have work experience of 2 years hello my name is krina from amdavad and i did my bachelor's in gujarat university i school for the 9.21 cgpa i have 2.7 years of experience as a developer that's it thank you hi my name is avi goel from udaipur rajasthan i did my bachelor's from srm chennai i had a score of 9 gpa i have a 1.5 years of experience as a software developer and i also gave the gre and i got the score of 310 and ielts as 7 quickly i want to talk to you specially your grades were 6.2 6.2 uh, 6.2 which is like 3.2 on the german scale dude i'm meeting somebody for the first time with this yeah i know Why? I applied I mean how how I mean yeah. <laughs> not why but yeah. like how, how did you went to Germany <laughs> uh so The thing is, I initially when I was because I did the whole process by myself, so I uh, shortlisted a few universities and I had high hopes of TUM and everything. Then I got a you know wake up call that you know this is completely out of my league. So then I had to make another shortlist and I applied to about ten to fifteen universities. And at the end, I got two admits. One was Würzburg and one was Marburg. So then I selected Würzburg because I got the admit from here earlier. But like one of the questions which keeps haunting students is like, I have such a low score. Should I even like apply or not? Or वो अपना टाइम वेस्ट करो और उनका भी मेरे को नहीं मिलेगा बिकॉज दिस इज जनरल नोशन लाइक हैविंग सी जी पी इन सिक्स पॉइंट समथिंग इट सेल्फ इज लाइक इधर आई गो इन टू प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी और आई लर्न जर्मन एंड गो इन टू जर्मन टॉर प्रोग्राम बट यू आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट की मेरे को इंग्लिश में मिल ही जाएगा वॉट डिड यू डू लाइक एज पर यू अदर देन योर ग्रेड एंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर सेल्फ वॉट स्पेशली डिड यू फोकस ऑन दी एस ओ पी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर श्योर मोर देन दैट समटाइम्स यू जस्ट यू नो अस इंडियंस हैव दैट वेरी आई वु जगाडू मेंटेलिटी दैट यू नो वी विल गेट इट डन नो मैटर हियर Or there we'll get it done. It was just you know I had four years of experience, but you know I didn't really have a lot of theoretical knowledge. And that was always bugging me that I need to do a master's. That is kind of why I try to focus and you know nice. just get something done. Can we talk a little bit more about your Definitely. course a bit? Second, what I want to know is which all university and courses did you apply? I applied around ten different places. I got two admits, one from the Bamberg University and this one. The reason I chose this course is because I had four years of experience in the game development field. So I had the Unity game engine experience and when I was doing extended re- reality I thought like okay I can use that experience in hand in my course so my course become really easy so yeah that is also a beneficial for me my course like divide between like 30 CTS for the mandatory for like they have some group projects and one exam second part has like around 60 CTS that has some seminars some courses some projects the personal projects another 30 is for the master thesis so why is your course called as extended ai the reason is called extended ai i think they have changed the name right now it is like they are calling it like extended reality and artificial intelligence nowadays but when i applied it was it was called extended ai as i said like it is extended reality which is like summation of the virtual reality augmented reality and the mixed reality so yeah that is the reason they are you are almost at the verge of completing a course right now yes i'm writing my thesis i have a job the full time job with that i'm writing my thesis if you were to advise these people they've just come like 4 or 5 months back right mm-hmm. how can they also land a part time job or the fastest way to get to the full time job here's the thing the companies they don't care about like how much 
benchmarks they do you have and courses you did they only cares about what kind of skills do you have and to verify your skills you need to have some really github points like you know green dots you need to showcase yourself and the company does only care about that yes of course i would suggest them like if they have experience that is well and good they have the skills and if they're not then they have to put some time aside to make their own projects and just push it on the git repo so that they can showcase their projects and definitely definitely a part-time job in their own field is required i mean part-time jobs are nice like you can work in magdis or liferando if you want to but think about it like you cannot put it on the cv Yeah, at yeah. the end like for example him he came fresh right what advice do you have for him like because for him to convince an employer look i'm really good at even for a part time job or a working student how can a profile like him build up i can give one experience one of my friend what he did he is also in my course he worked in decathlon cycle department what he did is like he showcased managers over there that hey you know what i'm doing such a good course i'm learning ai and stuff like that can you please give me an opportunity in the decathlon it he is like convincing like you have to sell yourself crawl his way inside yes. and he just sell himself like okay i'm doing such a nice course i'm doing learning such a nice things do you know these things i'm learning such a nice thing and the manager says okay i can give you a recommendation for the it and then he just landed on the decathlon it and he's working over there right nice. now so from a odd job he converted into a, a full time yeah. something meaningful which he can add to his cv yes nice exactly. can you talk a little bit more about the subjects what you studied the first 30 cities is the mandatory section from there we have an exam con introduction to ai now for the exam wise in germany that is a bit kind of hard which i understand is because like you have 60 points and you have the passing marks is like 30 points so you have to be really fast on your exam and in indian thingy like if you if are bhai panch number hai to bhai aadhe pas to likhna hi hoga there's no such thing if it is five marks or 15 marks the answer is like one word just write one word you get the 15 marks yes. over here other than that i have some group projects that is the reason i said like pr is very much important in my course after that i did like natural language processing computer vision data mining and for the xr section i did multi model inter fest and so on and so forth and also my thesis is also with the vr department what are the three or four skills you have that's the reason you got hired for the job what you do you have to be a good learner i mean think about it you have to convince your employer that first of all you are a good learner that is the first thing and the second is the employer wants these things from you you probably doesn't know it but you will learn you have to convince that other than that like you have to sell yourself like okay you know what i did these projects within two months so i have learned those things within one month and have did it within one month so i am a very very big resource for you in terms of technical skills mm-hmm. how what what do you have i can do the physics coding for the simulations for the programming i have c sharp c++ that is the my two biggest power i would say and other than that i obviously learned python javascript right last question for you since you you will be graduating in few months you'll give your defense and stuff mm-hmm. and then you'll start working full time anyway you're doing that give us a ballpark of what sort of salary one gets with let's ah. say with your background <laughs> uh so it depends like from where where are you working for example if you're working in munich you will get a really nice salary and it should be like 70000 or 75000 to be honest but if you're working in a small town places to be honest uh, then it won't be that much as of munich the salary range is almost 50 to 60 then after that you have to convince your employer like, would you say the same thing even for freshers people who have zero experience but done like two or three internships in their life it doesn't matter like if you're fresher or not it mm-hmm. matters your employer like how much budget they have how much are you getting like give us give us a ballpark <laughs> 50 to 60 50 to 60 yes. okay that falls in the category of blue card anyway yes. so that's good for you cool thank you so much no for uh, joining thank you bro yeah.